Hi friends, there was a question asking how to create buttons with values like 1, 2, 3 like that. So these are all part of the creating dynamically the buttons. So we don't know how the number of buttons will be generated or from a query or from a records we are generating. So that we will learn now. So here it is a basic template from here we will try to develop our uh, buttons. Let's first start with a variable n equal to 6. So we'll have 5 buttons. So up to the 6 will go. So it is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'm just writing number of buttons. This is the upper limit actually. So after that, now I'll say for j in range n. n is the number there 6 we have taken. So it will stop starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 it will go. So then we'll say e equal to button. Now I am saying my w, my w is my parent window. Now what should go the text on the button? I am giving it a variable j. So j is again will take different different values. So we'll based on that. Now I'll place it on the grid. I am not making it a button one, button two like that. It's just inside the loop only. So row equal to zero. Now again column, here the column is to the right of it, the one button, then next button, next button. So I'll give the value at J. That's all. Let's just see this, this many code will generate some buttons. Let's see how many are generated using this. Here it is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These many buttons are generated. These are all buttons. Now let's slightly adjust it. What you will do? will uh, add little bit of fun to it okay these are not part of the main script just for our uh, vis appearance only we are changing we'll declare a triple so times now size is let's say 16 and it is normal or you can use bold or italic anything you want so that's uh, the one and here we'll say here we'll say font equal to font one so slightly bigger font will get it let's just see this how it looks yeah it is a little bigger now let's slightly it is flushed with the top edge so we'll give pad x x means left and right both sides let's give two pixel gap and pad y for all also let's give two gap so we should now get a buttons will be separated from each other yeah you can see now buttons are separated I can click now we'll see how we'll manage this how we'll read the values how we'll disable it all this we'll see let's place a label here so that label will display which button we have clicked so for that I am just uh, using one string variable my str equal to tk dot string var fine so this particular string variable I will connect to a label l1 equal to tk dot label now my window is parent window now i'm saying text vary sorry text variable equal to my str now slightly i'm giving width equal to 10. okay now let's me just place it on our grid so here it is above the button so i'll give the row equal to one zero i'll give and then below i'll change it so grid row equal to let's say one i am giving and column equal to two slightly right but here column span i am giving six because there are buttons are there each button is occupying one one column so it will be extended so i am giving a column span equal to say six or rather because i want to have this this n equal to six number of buttons i will cut it take it to the top and here column span i will use n so it's six actually based on the number of buttons it is automatically it will take the value so fine so this is up to this this is there now i will how i will link it up now these buttons are there okay these buttons are or i just can see okay here the row is i will increase i'll go to the next row so i am giving row equal to two so the label has come up now i will write a function before that inside this buttons uh, let me write some code here so i will say command equal to lambda 
now another variable k equal to j because i which button is clicked the j value should transfer there now i'll say my function this is the particular way i'm writing and passing the function k so far the my function i have not written it i'll going to write it and the button which one i have clicked the k value will be transferred k is nothing again i am telling k is equal to j so this value will be transferred now let me just create the function diff my function now i am receiving the value of k here and then only i am setting the string value my str dot set i am writing here button number is now here button number is this is the label or the string part now the variable part i will write it because it's a string now i will write k str because it's convert the integer to a string because this is a string addition button number is up to this it's a one string then i am adding another string to that and here i whatever the value of k i am converting it to a from an integer to a string and then placing it so that's all now this will define my uh, button let me just save it and running it so here it is so now i will say click for button number is four whatever i am clicking the same you can see the number here okay let me just increase the font a bit so it will be because already i have declared one so i'll say font equal to font one fine now i should able to display it at a higher front okay now four button number is four two button number one button number zero so which one i am clicking i uh, button based on that the value for the k is transferred the variable value is transferred and that particular number is getting displayed now we'll move next to our how we'll disable or enable or you can use a list also from that we can dynamically create a buttons set of buttons here is a list from this list we will create the buttons so list uh languages equal to now i am right just writing the la name it's a string only whatever you want to take it you take it python now let's say html now next is let's say javascript or js we are taking this four now the buttons will be dynamically created now one more variable i am taking var equal to zero so here instead of uh, using i will say for language in uh, it is no range i'll just say list languages fine so from that i am taking this values so e is okay i can keep it as e or i can change it to now bit button btn i am giving here also btn fine so now this button equal to w text now text is here the text is language this is a variable only uh, font let it be now the command is lambda now here i will say lan lan equal to language now this language is what's the point variable whatever uh, it is while looping now language now i'll say uh, so lan now in that one i am passing language so let me just delete it yeah up to this point fine so so language so far i have not declared it now i am just going to declare it row equal to now for me row equal to 2 let's say and the column equal to var because var is zero i have declared it now here what i will do every after the every loop where i will increment the var value by one equal to one so var one two zero one two like that so it's all the same i am just incrementing it so fine this has come here now let me just come here my function define my function show language here i will say instead of that function name only i have changed it and i am receiving that as my language now you can just see here if if you will see here this is the one 
language is language so this uh, particular so lan uh, this is the one function and passing the parameter as lan so language that is that i am so lan is here that i have declared it here now language now here i instead of set i will say my language these are all string only nothing uh, complex in that so i have just whatever i am receiving i am just uh, printing it that's all so now here it is for that all should work column span equal to 9 okay let's run this and see how this works now instead of numbers this should give me yeah so you can see that the buttons are here now whatever i am clicking i am getting the value out as output because moment i am clicking that variable is reaching to this so language function and that i am i can just slightly give a here i will just add here pad x pad x equal to 2 two pixel i am giving gap between those two buttons here it is the gap you can see between the buttons it has come up so whatever i am clicking that one will will be displayed we we'll learn about button references so we can refer any button from a set of buttons and uh, work on it so uh, for that i am just creating a declaring a list here where i'll be holding the references for that so for that let me just scroll okay this references i will insert it here so for that purpose i will ask here buttons dot append now every button i create i am storing it inside this okay now you we may think that why i am how i'll manage this that we'll see so for that let's once it click this i will pass the variable also i'll pass the variable now button here two pa parameters i am passing one is another one is the variable the number the button number reference number i am passing now i let me come here here okay now what i want to do is i will disable the button which i clicked i will disable that and previously if it is disabled i will enable that for that i have to loop it through so for that for i in range i am inside the function i in range len length of buttons what is buttons buttons is our list uh, reference whatever we have declared it here you can see so this particular one how many buttons are created it is there stored there so that reference i am going to use it inside this for i in range len buttons now inside this if i equal to var what is var var also pass the numeric so it is 1 2 3 4 like that the button which i clicked that particular one it is taking t t o n s len buttons is okay i will pass this to uh buttons is here okay for i in range if i equal to var then buttons uh value i mean that that particular button i am accessing config what i will config i will stay state is a one of the option of the buttons you in our basic so i can disable enable all those thing this is a state option i can use it so that's why i am using disabled so if it is matching i the which one i have clicked so i the var will hold the value from the based on the which button i clicked now i am looping through all the buttons and whenever it matches means it will suppose i have clicked the html so 0 1 2 2 i will sorry the var will carry the value of 2 and when i value will start from 0 till 0 1 2 3 so moment it becomes 2 this will disable so my particular html button will be disabled now if i because again second thing i want is previously if it is anything is disabled that should make it enable else so each button it has to pass through buttons now i am saying i now again config other buttons you make it normal if anything is uh, disabled before so that you make it normal so that's all now let's just see this how this works this is how we use a reference to a button now html uh something uh, has type error but two were given okay there is something is mistake here 
here I have to receive the value of var here and same thing I have to pass it while passing language equal to lan before that I will say var equal to var so <coughs> otherwise the last value of var or it is 4 will be always carried so now var and language both I am keeping and passing it to here it is at the end I am passing both language and the value of var so these two I am carrying to my function here so here it is I am just saving it running it once let's see yeah html yeah html is disabled now say i am clicking php now php is disabled and html is enabled now let's say go to javascript javascript okay js is again disabled so this is how we can keep a reference to a number to a button and use it uh, access its properties and use it that's all this will be required when you are, are not sure what buttons we are going to use or what the user is going to uh, um, click and you may have a set of buttons based on your database table which you are not sure what buttons they are going to use so that's all so we'll go for if you have any doubt questions or suggestion use the comment section below to post it so we'll further work on this and i'll request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we post new tutorials new videos that we frequently do please share this with your friends and thank you for watching Please subscribe to our channel.